I have here an expansion for Descent Journeys in the Dark 2nd Edition by Fantasy Flight Games. This is the Shadow of Narakal expansion, part of their Runebound universe. Looks like uh, you're going to get new heroes, monsters, classes, and I guess it's going to have a new adventure maybe I'm not sure but uh, you can see if you use card sleeves it takes at least one pack of green at least two packs of yellow to take care of the new cards in here it does require the base game to play it doesn't look like it requires any of the other expansions though. so you get their catalog of the games they currently have out, or at least as of winter 2013, you get a, a rules and quest guide here. You open it up, you get kind of a layout of all the components that are going to be in the game, how the expansion works with the base game, uh, some of the new rules, some campaign rules. A description of some of the different components. You start to go in the story and then you start to get into the campaign pieces here with the maps and the victory conditions, how to set it up. So that's what most of the book is. So it's going to go on for a good little while here doing that. Then you have a map on the back for the campaign of it. And let's see, there wasn't a table of contents, so I can't say exactly how many scenarios there were. But we have some uh, cardstock here. So you're going to get some tiles. We have a large room with a fountain with a statue in it. We have a lieutenant token here. You have a song tokens. I'm not sure what that is. You have like a little T junction, a little square. Whole thing, a couple of more lieutenant tokens, I believe. Another kind of T junction. These are condition tokens. I'm not sure what condition that is. The tokens look to be the same, double sided, but the uh, one side of this is more corridors or rooms, kind of uh, cobbled paths. And this is more kind of a dungeon with what looks like acid or poison pits maybe some electricity or glowing fungus growing on there so you got that big room again here uh, T junction some other little smaller ones and another T junction down here we have this set here you got a little square room another little square room some corridor pieces another room. little square area but it's more forested like a little corridor. These actually look like they're, this is more kind of an outside pavilion with some little fruit stands. These are influence tokens it looks like. And then again you have that dungeon stuff on the back. These influence tokens are different on the back of them. These are image tokens. And see you have some more corridor type things and some little square room areas this is almost like a little pit some other little corridor type area we have uh, an oddly shaped room here we have a token here I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent 
I don't see it on the layout sheet. Maybe that's a character or something else. You have objective tokens. They're going to be question marked on one side. There's the last of the image token, but you have some little L shapes, some little end pieces, some portcullises. I don't know how those fit into the... They come with plastic stands according to the instructions. So you just put that in a plastic scan, that's a little portcullis. You have like a library room here, some other little ending and corner pieces. You have the backs of the objective tokens with the actual objectives on them. Here's this odd shaped room, kind of like a little, really again, kind of the dungeon feel to it. And a lot of those other pieces on the back have that dungeon look. Have another portcullis, some other little junction pieces. Looks like another little like laboratory. Another influence token. This is a shadow soul token. It's a familiar. Have kind of an oblong shaped card in here. Looks like maybe a little junction with a force field in it. Like a little prison cell square room area. It's actually rectangular. It's this big area here. And on the back of that, you have another dungeon area. I guess that's a poison mist there. Some of these other little junction pieces. This is kind of a You've got a wall going here, so it's almost like a pathway that climbs up or down and then go, continues to go on. This is like a little garbage pit area, it looks like. And we have some hero tokens here. We have like a pub or bar room here. Another portcullis, little hallway piece. A couple more of those little force field looking areas. A little manhole junction, L shaped piece, and on the back side we have more of that dungeon corridor with kind of a just all look like room pieces. And then we're going to get miniatures and cards here. Here we have uh, our new heroes. We have Rindiel. Looks kind of like a sword master of sorts. We have Orkel the Swift. Looks kind of like a crazy barbarian type. Tanashi the Wanderer. Kind of an orc looking uh, roguish magic user. Thing. And we have Revelia Lightfoot, kind of like a elvish or halfling magic user of some sort. We have some cards here. So you're going to have the cards for the uh, lieutenants, it looks like, the different, uh, with the different. Uh, Powered means like the first half power, and as they grow stronger, you go to the second card. We have Ryan Olivian, Merc Lace, Verminous, and then you go into the regular monsters. We have a Changeling, a Rat Swarm, Iron Bound, looks like some sort of golem. Infernal Hulk, and those look to be your new monsters there. And looks like we're going to have your Overlord cards here. You get 12 of these. You get some Shadow of Doubt, Imploding Rift, Mistrust, Out of Darkness, Shadow Walk, Blackout, Treacherous Shadows, Refresh, Solidarity, Diverse Means, Upgrade, and Placebo. We're going to have some these are corrupt citizen cards. You're going to get nine of these. And they have things like the civilian, the magistrate, the 
guardsman, executioner, mage, scholar, siren, scoundrel, hero. And it looks like when a certain kind of a master changeling is placed on the map, you place this card, it has some sort of effect in the game. These are the city event cards. And you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. And they're going to give you the different occurrences, I guess, that are going to happen in the city, depending on how it matches up with the symbols. You have your mini card pack here. Three relic cards, and they're double sided. You got a shadow plotter, a spirited scythe, and an infernal rune. And then they have the different uh, sides to those for different effects. We have some condition cards here, and these are bleeding condition. That's what those tokens apparently were for bleeding. You have your different. Item shop cards here for the you got the the first half and then the second half cards. We have a jeweled mace, incendiary arrows, iron down wound, phoenix pendant, bloody dagger, bone blade, city guards bow, boots of iron, baron's cloak, cloak of mist, archaic scroll. And then you have the second half cards here. These are iron bound shield. Shadow Tome, Iron Bound Glaive, Narrow Call Plate, Raw Tooth Dagger, Rune of Blades, Repeating Crossbow, Golden Mask, Vestments of Kellos, and Star of Kellos. You're going to have the class cards here. She has some class cards for a Conjurer. I'm not going to go through the other side of those. They just have the different abilities and uh, equipment there that that can get. You have uh, class cards for a Shadow Walker, and class code cards for a Bard, and class cards for a Skirmisher. So those are all the cards. I'll open up the miniatures and take a quick look at those. See if we can see how many of those we're going to get. So you get your plastic stands for the uh, port coal, so you're going to get four of those. You're going to get two, two green dice. You're going to get the four hero miniatures. Try to take a look at those first. Get the pull back out just a little. So not a real good look at the face there. It looks to be the Orknell the Swift. Or no. That is Tanasha the Wanderer. She's not a great look on the face. Nice detail otherwise. This is your kind of sword wielding guy. This is Rindiel. This is Orko the Swift. See, lots of flash on these models. The faces really don't look great. And then this is Revelia Lightfoot. And we're going to have some of the other miniatures here. Three of the 
white ones and one of the red ones. You're going to get an iron bound here. I believe that's what it's called. Yes, an iron bound. It's kind of a golem. It's just really a suit of armor here. Sculpts for the monsters look much better than the hero sculpts. You get a changeling here. You're going to get three of the white ones and one of the red ones. Come on, focus in. Let's see if the red one will focus in better. And you got just these two of the. Uh, And then you have an infernal hook. You're gonna get two of these, one red and one white. See, it's kind of a spiky. It has a mag, really, look kind of like lava magma creature look to it in the picture. But that is everything that comes in the Shadow of Nerakal expansion for Descent Second Edition by Fantasy Flight Games.